Well, hello everyone. Uh, Dylan here with my first LEGO Star Wars Summer 2023 review, and this one's on the Spider Tank that is now being released. And so now, and now you're wondering, how did I get this quite early? Well, just check that Coles. They would have to have it, but at least it and the other summer sets will be out uh, quite at all the at all the stores quite soon. But yeah, if you want it early, then try Coles for now. But yeah. So on the front of the box here, we which had the you know, Lego Star Wars logos and the uh, same border that we've been seeing since last year and picture of the spire tank in the caves that there are and also the three minifigs included and recommended ages is nine and up. Set number 75361 has 526 pieces. So, and on the back side, do you have another position of the spider tank and all the features of it and both Dinjarin and uh, uh, Bo-Katan shooting at it as obviously but yeah and that's about it with the box and now oh, on to the manual which different rendering like we've been seeing since last summer but yeah the first couple pages add for transitioning to paper bags and add for the builder app on the back kind of went on the online survey and then all the pieces that come with the set and then add for some after some of the other uh, summer 2023 Star Wars sets and expect reviews on these two as soon as I could get them and then add for some other of Mandalorian sets that there are now. Also the two microfibers, but yeah. And then the last building steps. Like that. So first off, so now on to the three minifigs included. So first off is the Mandalorian himself. Or just the Mandalorian, which that torso print, same as it's been for the last two years, and helmet piece of which, same as from the uh, Mandalorian Fang Fighter Tie Interceptor set in the earlier in the year, and also has the Dark Saber, which also the same as in that set. So this is a much cheaper way to get that, of course. <coughs> and then in the center, which have Grogu. Of which same as he's been since 2020, but yeah. And the only one all new and exclusive to this is Bo Katan, but however, this of which quite different than the one that came in the Mandalorian Starfighter set uh, two years ago, of course, but at least has a bright blue and also side arm printing, which is starting to get a little more common in Star Wars sets lately. And of course, wielding the two classic uh, clone trooper blasters, of course. And also does have, have a range finder there. And also the packet of uh, optical gear like we get with all Mandalorians and clone troopers. Well, most Mandalorians and clone troopers, of course. And however, the uh, helmet print of which looks really great for that. Oh, like the owl printing and everything. But yeah. And of course, both of which do have the. Have the uh, jetpacks also reminiscent of Boba Fett and Jango Fett and so on. And then as for the face prints of which, well, Dinjarin's of which, same as from the N1 Starfighter of 2022 and Bo-Katan's of which, hers of which, kind of similar to how she was in the uh, 2021 Starfighter set, but also do get the hair piece of which, also like in that set, but at least this is a little different kind of one, but more updated and more accurate. So, nice to see, yeah. And as for the alternate face prints of which, that Bo-Katan, the only one that does. And for this minifig selection as a whole, for this set, a $50 set, which I think should have included at least an extra one of it, like uh, Paz Vizsla, 
or even uh, the droid that comes out of the spider tank set, uh, which, which, and of course, which would have been great for that. And of course, all those three for a fifty dollars set, which kind of steep for that. Although I think the next for fake would have been good, but yeah. So that's so, all. Now finish with the mini things. And now on to the spider tank itself. Which, as you can see, it was quite unique, interesting build that I'll do to add to this Lego Star Wars catalog of, of builds and things. But of course, it with the six total legs and also these two arms on front, of course. So as for this front part of which, with this new head build, which kind of pivots up and down, of course. So as for the other which, as you see, just the uh, light gray and dark gray, kind of all there, of course. And also two little uh, clear red studs for eyes, of course, and quite nice snot on both sides of which. And also with the uh, BD-9E headpieces used as extra greeples, very nice, really good use of that. And of course, the two small tubes go in upwards for that. And as for these lower arms of which which kind of pivot side to side to side, but unfortunately not up and down. But on all I think a simple mixel joint and a technic ball joint piece, which would have been a lot better for that. So you can like move it around better or of course. But also you get Sort of that little leg piece like we see on the Marvel and now Star Wars mechs, of course, but in dark gray, of course. Which lead to a pair of mixel joints and so it's big, large claws that do open, pinch in and outwards. And also, when you put a mini, and as for putting a mini fig in it, at least if loosely they might fall out. But unless, for the Little studs that there are can like attach their legs into and make them be held in better. So at least that of which good I good thinking for that. So good job Lego for adding that in. But as for the legs of which, which three on each side and they all look quite the same. So like as he does. Have one of those interesting pieces right here, and also corner plates downwards, and then also a grill piece acting as like extra greepling. Nice to see there. Also, if you may notice that in right inwards are those like rubber technic pieces, which act as like extra holding, and, and also to like hold in place or yeah, something like that. So at least that which kind of works out, but although I think it could have worked out just fine without that. But as for this center part of which do have those rounded corner pieces, making it kind of like a flying saucer a bit. But at least it's used as like a main body part for that. A couple of little clip pieces just kind of randomly. Just, just of course, as extra greeples, of course. And a pair of astromech droid head pieces, also used for that. And also for this uh, top view of which does have those these quarter kind of plate pieces for that. And also a big large tan piece. Uh, not sure why there, but probably to help it stand out and tell where the blasters are, of course. And also you can like lift it up, and there's two of the newer style stud shooters, of course, where you can tap on that and oh, hang on, tap and they fire like so. And that's for the back view of which not much to say for, but just four random studs on there, and also the whole slide around are a few hinges with plates on them 
and also a round plate as well. And also, just the only little bit of snot back here is just another grill piece for that. I wish not much, but yeah. But as for the bottom view of which, I wish it was quite good and well done. Like, do got those like inward slopes, but all of which making it perfectly symmetrical. So of course, good thing about this set is complete perfect symmetry. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is a really good set, or just great set for like that. Although, like, a good, quite new, unique build for that, since, of course, it a large building droids, which sort of reminiscent of, like, the droid uh, dropships, vulture droids, and corporate alliance tank droids, and all those. But, yeah, but at least a little different kind of one that is not Clone Wars or prequels. But the main pick selection, whereas getting the Darksaber included with Din Djarin, which is great to have there, and... This updated version of Dinjarn, great to have in a cheap, in a cheaper set, and also the main highlight, the new Bo-Katan uh, fig. And although I wish, although I think we could have at least included the uh, extra joy that comes out of it in this sequence in the show, but yeah. But although I think maybe you can make that yourself with other assassin droids or whatever. But also, what's kind of missing is a little spick that they could put onto in this sequence. Or maybe that would would have been a little much, but yeah. But also, everything about the Bo-Katan fig, of which quite just great for that. But yeah. So, is this worth the pickup? Yes, indeed. And so now if you're looking to get this set for your Mandalorian set collection, definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to get Bo-Katan, which is one of the main highlights of Season 3, then also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.